Hey everyone, and welcome to the Motonocity How to Ride a Motorcycle Beginner's Guide. Uh, I'll be bringing you guys a lot more videos on how to ride a motorcycle, uh, showing specific things. But I just wanted to make a video to kind of get you started, uh, show you what you absolutely need to know to uh, get on a bike and ride for the first time. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Um, first thing I want to go over is all the different parts of the motorcycle. So uh, to begin with, uh, you're going to want to remember that the right side uh, deals with braking. So here under the right foot, we have our right pedal. Um, in front of this is the right brake. Uh, now this controls the uh, rear brakes, and um, this is just a light brake. Uh, up here we have the... Um, the uh, front brake, and that is going to control uh, about 80% of your braking power. So this is what you're going to want to always use. Um, uh, well, you want to always use both brakes, but this is the brake that's going to be able to do the most for you. Um, on the left side, we have everything that's going to deal with shifting. So here on the front, this uh, uh, lever right here is the clutch lever, and down here we have the uh, left foot rest and in front of it is the gear lever. So you see here it goes uh, down and up and uh, This controls obviously shifting gears. I'm not going to get into this too much um, Leave that for a different video, but just know that this is the uh, gear lever and it uh, shifts down by pressing down shifts up by pressing up the interesting thing is if you keep going all the way down to the lowest gear, uh, you're going to be in one rather than neutral. Between one first gear and second gear, you have neutral. So at the very bottom, we have one neutral, second, third, fourth, fifth, how many gears you have. Uh, on the SV650, I've got six, um, but you're going to just want to remember that. So if you press all the way down, you're going to be in first gear. A half step up is going to be neutral. Another half step is going to put you in second gear. So that's the, that's the left side shifting. Um, if we go ahead and get on the bike and look at the handlebars. Over here, obviously, I set the clutch lever. Here we have the brights. So right here is just normal uh, running lights. If I flip that switch forward, then I have my brights. Um, right here, let me go ahead and unlock this. Uh, right here is the turn signals, so if I pull left, that'll put on my left blinker, and to turn it off, you press it in, so uh, it's not going to turn off on automatically, at least not on this bike. Uh, fill it right, and then press, then you're going to uh, turn that off. Below it, we have the horn. I'm not going to press it. Um, bike's off anyways, but... Uh, that is the horn right underneath the uh, turn signals. Of course, we got the key and ignition right in the center. Uh, if you turn it all the way left, this is going to lock. You see it here. Uh, it says lock. Um, if you have the steering column all the way left, I can switch it to lock, and that's going to lock it uh, in that spot. Um, then we have off, obviously, and on. On the right side, uh, right handlebar or right handle controls throttle. Of course, the set of the brake is right here. Here we have uh, the engine cutoff switch. Um, so this is going to cut off all power. Um, this is what you use to uh, turn off your bike. If you're in a bad situation, you need to cut power. You just flip it off, or rather off. Um, then uh, here we have hazards, and then the uh, start button. Uh, so. Uh, that is all of the main things you need to know about. So in order to get started riding, uh, you just need to remember a quick thing. It's called Fine C, uh, something learned in the Motorcycle Safety Foundations course. It stands for, uh, it's F-I-N-E-C. Stands for Fuel Supply Valve, which I don't have on this bike, but if you do, it's gonna be up here. It's just gonna be something you turn on to allow fuel in the engine. <clears throat> the I is for ignition, N is for neutral, E is for engine cutoff, and C is for clutch and choke. I don't have a choke either, uh, but that's going to be somewhere right around here, and that's just something that you're going to want to turn on in cold weather, because uh, sometimes it's too cold for the bike to start. 
Um, so that's the order that you do everything in order to get started. Uh, so if you don't have the fuel supply valve like I have, you can just ignore the F. Um, I don't know, use the other letters, I and E, C. Make up a little saying for yourself if you want to do that. Um, uh, like, igloos need extreme cold. Uh, so you can remember those letters. Again, fuel supply valve, ignition, neutral, engine cutoff, and clutch choke. So let's go ahead and do that. So fuel supply valve, you would turn that on if you have that. Just flip it, flip it to on. Uh, then the ignition. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the key to on. And then we have all the electric uh, components turn on that you see in there. Then we have neutral. So with the gear lever, um, I, I, mean, I put mine into neutral whenever I turn off my bike. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and just put the kickstand up. And with the gear lever, I would just make sure it's go up or uh, up a half step. If I was to say I hadn't first, just go up a half step to put it into neutral. Um, I'm already in neutral, so just make sure that you're in neutral. Uh, then the E, engine cutoff, I already have it turned on like that. Um, but I always flip it off when I turn off my bike, so just make sure at that point you turn it on and my bike makes a little sound. And then C is the clutch and choke. So pull on the clutch. If you have a choke, you would turn that to on, and then we can hit the start button right here. And then the bike starts. Still have the clutch in, but I'm in neutral, so I can let that go if I want. No problem there. Um, obviously, to get started, first thing that we would want to do is pull on the clutch, press down on the gear lever since we're in neutral. We want to go down to first. Press that down, shifts into first, and then we are ready to go. Obviously, um, if you know about a manual, if you're not in neutral, you got to have the clutch in. Uh, and just to start, don't worry about pulling, uh, using the throttle at all. You don't have to worry about that. Um, and don't cover the brake as uh, brake either. Uh, if you're like a pro racing driver, you would cover that, but we don't need to do that. Just keep your hand on the throttle. Um, and to get started, don't pick your feet up. Just walk with the bike. I'll show you that. And just slowly let the clutch out. Uh, the revs will cause the bike to go forward. Just walk it. I still have it barely let go. Clutch level lever. Um, and I'm just slowly riding, walking with the bike. If I pull it in, then the bike comes to a stop. Again, slowly let the clutch out. Walking with the bike. I can let it out more if I want. I'm still putting my feet on the ground. Uh, my ha my uh, bike has a fairly high idling speed. That's what you'll get with sports bikes or anything with a little more power. So it'll go a little faster than I want to walk. Um, but that's the basics. So slowly let it out. Walk with the bike. Just going to go in a straight line here because I know it went off on diagonal. And then to stop, pull all four fingers on the brake and slowly come to a stop. So let's just turn around. Now, something you're going to want to remember, actually I'll mention that later. Keep this video simple. So again, sitting here, clutch in, bike running, and just slowly let out the clutch and walk with the bike. All right, so now that we got that down, now that you're comfortable, um, let's bring our feet up. So I always bring my right up, right foot up first because I put my uh, left foot down first. I don't know, do whatever you want. But So we slowly let the clutch out, walking along. I'm gonna let it out a little more, bring my feet up, going at a good speed. I'm not using the throttle at all. The bike is just taking me along with its idle revs. And then to stop, because I have to, I'm gonna be coming to a stop, pull the clutch in, brake with both your right foot and your right hand, and put your left foot down. I still have my right foot on the, on the uh, right foot lever, then I can put my, my foot down. 
um, just because you always want to have your right foot on that brake. Uh, again, we can slowly let the clutch out. I got put my hand back on the throttle. Um, well, not pull on the throttle, but off the brake. Slowly let the clutch out. Come up. I'm going to turn here. Again, I'm not using any throttle. The bike is just taking me along on its own. And if I want to come to a stop, pull the clutch in, brake with both your right hand and your right foot, left foot down, and we're good. Um, so then when we want to turn off the bike, we want to put it into neutral again. So I'm in first. I'm just going to bring it up a half step. I don't know if you can see this. Bring up the leather half a half step. I accidentally went a full step. So I'm going to press it down. There we go. Neutral. So I can let go of the clutch if I want. Engine cut off. Bike turns off. And ignition. If you had a fuel supply valve, you would turn the fuel fuel supply valve off. Then you'd be good. Put the kickstand down. I put it down with my heel. Turn it left so I can put the the key onto lock. Take my key and always lift the right foot over. Don't get off the right side. So there you go. Those are the basics of riding a motorcycle. I'll be bringing out more tutorials, uh, getting to uh, more advanced things, even just the rest of the basics, but that will get you started and moving on a motorcycle. So be sure to leave a comment, let me know what you thought, let me know if you have any questions, I'll answer everything that you ask, uh, just be sure to note it. Um, like this video if you liked it, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, so you can get the rest of the videos, and I'll see you guys next week for uh, further tutorials. See you guys later.